Our future is actually determined to a certain extent by our past. These historic buildings are actually a window back in time. I think in general, the conservation movement in Hong Kong is moving towards the right direction, but in a rather slow pace. We don't have a lot of pre-World War II architecture still surviving in Hong Kong, so any pre-war architecture, in my opinion, is already a very precious case of architectural heritage. Okay, this particular photo is actually interesting because you can actually see the surrounding context. The CLP building, the St. George's apartment, actually complement the development on Kaduri Hill. So we can broadly categorize the CLP Tower and the St. George Mansion as an uh, example of Art Deco building, which is an architectural style that originates in Europe, and particularly in France. It was the Jazz Age, so it was about luxury, it was about extravagance, and of course there was this obsession with new technology, particularly speed. It was inspired by transportational vehicles at the time, like ships, ocean liners, locomotives. It's certainly not just about age. It's also about looking at the greater context. Built heritage is actually a very tangible form of heritage. You can actually see it, you can touch it. But what about the intangible heritage, which is associated with that particular building? I didn't have a wristwatch at that time, so I would look at the clock to make sure I was on time for school. And once in a great while, it would uh, be stopped for some reason, and then it would be a little uncertain what time it was. Heritage conservation and sustainability are, in many ways, they are synonymous because heritage conservation is about giving old buildings a new lease of life. So instead of demolishing that old building, you're actually allowing for a new use. From one generation to another, you need to have some kind of continuity. I think Hong Kong needs to be a place where people can feel like they belong, uh, rather than just a place where they make a living. Some people will say they can demolish the buildings as long as we keep a good record of it, as long as we take a lot of photographs of it. But if we sort of eradicate all these historical buildings, the problem is that we won't be able to tell these stories to our next generations. And then they will see these kind of histories just as a fairy tale or folklore. I think that would be a huge loss to Hong Kong if we do that. <laughs>